In the vast, open ecosystem of Android, there exists a legend that has been passed down through forums, subreddits, and Discord channels for over a decade. It is a simple icon, a yellow smiley face that looks almost innocent. This is Lucky Patcher. For millions of users, this app represents the ultimate rebellion. It is the tool that promises to unlock the chains put on your device by manufacturers and game developers. It promises a world without ads, a world where premium features are free, and where the in-game currency flows endlessly without you spending a single penny. It sounds like the perfect tool for the gamer on a budget. But behind that smiling face lies a complex web of security risks, ethical gray areas, and a digital cat and mouse game that could cost you much more than just a banned account. Today, we are going deep beneath the surface to uncover the hidden dark truth about Lucky Patcher and why having this app on your phone might be the biggest mistake you make this year. To truly understand the danger, we have to look at how this software actually operates. Lucky Patcher is not a standard application. It is a patcher, a modification tool that performs what can only be described as digital surgery on your installed apps. When you open it, it scans every single piece of software on your phone, categorizing them based on what it can break. It looks for license verifications, it looks for Google Ads libraries, and it looks for billing scripts. When you choose to patch an app, Lucky Patcher is forcefully rewriting the code of that application, often modifying the class's .dex file, which is the heart of any Android app. To do this effectively, it usually demands root access. Rooting your phone is the equivalent of firing the security guard and leaving the bank vault wide open. By granting Lucky Patcher root privileges, you are giving a third-party tool, unauthorized, administrative control over your entire operating system. It can read your files, access your system partition, and bypass the rigid security sandboxes that Android uses to keep your banking apps and passwords safe from hackers. This brings us to the most immediate and terrifying risk, the malware ecosystem. Because Lucky Patcher allows you to steal revenue, it is banned from the Google Play Store and every other legitimate app marketplace. This means there is no official safe harbor to download it. If you go to Google right now and search for Lucky Patcher Download, you will be bombarded with hundreds of websites, all claiming to host the official or latest version. This is a trap. Cybercriminals know that millions of people are searching for this tool every day, so they take the original code, inject it with nasty surprises, and upload it to these fake sites. You think you are downloading a tool to hack a game, but in reality, you might be downloading a keylogger that records your passwords, a crypto miner that destroys your battery life, or ransomware that locks your files until you pay up. Without a verified source, every time you install Lucky Patcher, you are playing Russian roulette with your personal data. Even if you manage to find a clean version, you are stepping into a war zone between hackers and Google. Google Play Protect, the built-in antivirus on Android, identifies Lucky Patcher as a high-risk malicious agent. It does this because the app deliberately breaks the trust chain of the operating system. By keeping it on your phone, you may find that other essential apps stop working. Banking apps, payment wallets like Google Pay, and high security streaming services often scan your device for signs of routing or modification tools. If they detect the signature of Lucky Patcher, they will shut down immediately to protect themselves. You might gain free coins in a game, but you could lose the ability to access your bank account from your phone in the process. Let's also discuss the reality of modern gaming. In 2015, Lucky Patcher was a god. It could hack almost anything because game data was stored locally on your phone. But the industry has evolved. Today, almost all popular games, like Call of Duty, Free Fire, and Genshin Impact, are server-sided. This means your gem count, your gold, and your skins are not stored on your device. They are stored on the company's secure cloud servers. Lucky Patcher is a client-side tool. It can change the number on your screen to show 9,999 gems. But as soon as you try to spend them, the server checks the real value, sees the discrepancy, and rejects the transaction. But it doesn't end there. These anti-cheat systems are aggressive. Once the server detects that you are trying to manipulate the data packets, it doesn't just block the purchase. It flags your account. We are seeing a rise in hardware bans, where developers don't just ban your username, they ban your phone's unique ID. This means you can never play that game on that device again, no matter how many new accounts you create. Finally, we have to talk about the impact on the creators. There is a misconception that Lucky Patcher only hurts greedy billion-dollar corporations. 
but that is false. The tool does not discriminate. When you use it to bypass a 99 cent purchase in a small indie game, you are directly stealing from a solo developer or a small team who rely on that income to pay their rent and keep the servers running. Android development is difficult and expensive. When piracy becomes too rampant, developers simply stop making games for Android or they load them with even more unskippable ads to make up for the lost revenue. By using tools like this, users are actively destroying the mobile gaming ecosystem they claim to love. So, the next time you see that yellow smiley face and feel the temptation to get something for nothing, pause for a moment. Ask yourself if a few dollars of virtual currency is worth exposing your credit card details to the dark web, destroying your phone's operating system stability, and getting permanently banned from the games you enjoy. The truth is, Lucky Patcher is a relic of a bygone era, a dangerous tool that now causes far more harm than good. In the digital world, if something feels too good to be true, it's usually a trap.